right, guys, welcome back to NCG Reptiles. How are you doing today? Good. Okay, so today we are going to talk, talk about, about um, geckos missing their toes. Yes, some geckos miss their toes. Yes. So I have Lava here, and she was bought at a pet store, from a pet store, but at Expo. So when I asked the kid about her lineage, he didn't really know, but she was really pretty. Um, but I did notice that she was missing some toes. So let me show you what's going on here. So some jackals, mm -hmm. what, them, so when, you know those little food bowls. So those little food bowls, some jackals could um, um, step in there and have their skin on there. And if you take too long to get the skin, they'll stay on there. They'll, ew, ew, what? Yeah, so what happens is they step in the food bowl, just like she was saying, mm -hmm. and the food gets crusty mm -hmm. on their toes. Yeah, and them get stuck. They get stuck, and so when they get shed, when they shed or the food gets stuck on their toes, it cuts out the circulation, and what happens is their toes falls off. And, or, the other reason why they'd be missing toes is because if they were with other baby geckos, they'll nip at each other right mm -hmm. and they'll bite each other's toes off and stuff so i'm going to come up close to the camera so and you so you guys can see the toes are missing and so when i asked the pet store i thought they were the breeder but there was just the kid selling the geckos for the pet store he didn't know the breeder or the lineage um but her bacon color was amazing and i couldn't pass her up so let's uh, check out her toes for you. And then I'm gonna show you how we, um, what we do is, I'm gonna show you how, let me get that in focus for you. Uh, if you could look right here. Right there, you can kinda see a couple of her toes missing. Uh, that could be, like I said, from stuck shed can be from other little geckos nipping at each other um, we just don't know the kid didn't know couldn't tell us I'm gonna turn her around so you can see her beautiful colors oh my goodness she's amazing you can see why why we picked her up because her colors look orange um them look brown a little bit I don't know you know but I don't know you can see though. It's what they but, call the bacon color. Yeah. She's got the orange and the red going on. Yep. Beautiful. I was about to say that, but I forgot. No, that's okay. You're doing a great job. Yeah. Um, this girl's got a lot of oranges. And I'm learning. A lot of color. Of cackles because mm -hmm. I have a dow cackle, so I'm learning. And I'm learning about isopods because I have a isopod a toy isopod so alright guys so learning, let's learning. Uh, show you how to get off the, um, shed. the stuck shed and the stuck the stuck food okay guys let's look at that go. great yeah she's licking her chomps <laughs> it's just like she knows okay so what I do is I I spray the water inside the, tank. the, the tub the quart just enough so that her feet are covered with the water. See? And if something's wrong with her, we just help her. No girl. No, okay. Now put her back in the kit and let her out. Okay. So she's gonna soak in here. You wanna soak your gecko for ten to fifteen minutes. Like I said, room temperature water, the same temperature that the outside temperature is where you're keeping your gecko you don't want to shock the gecko with hot water or too cold of water so this is in the same I keep this water in the same room same facility uh, with the gecko so what I'll do is I'll let I'll let her sit in this water she'll crawl around a little bit and then I'll I'll, I'll cover it up and I mean you could time it if you want you leave the gecko in there for 10-15 minutes um, and then I'll show you what we need to do once we get the gecko out of there and get her out. 
and you just get a regular Q-tip, right? That? Q-tip. Oh! I gotta get No, no, no. Oh, ow! You bit me! She bit you because you grabbed her. <laughs> Last time you got pooped on, this time you got bit. See, you gotta get scared. You gotta, you gotta be careful. <laughs> Let me see your finger. That's okay. Tell everybody how it felt. Okay, it felt like a little pinch. <laughs> Nothing too scary, right? No, it didn't hurt like really bad. It just hurt like a, like you're getting your ears pierced. Okay, <laughs> not that bad actually. So she didn't actually bite her out of fear or out of anger. What happened was she was licking her lips because she was wet. And she went to grab the gecko and put her finger in her mouth while she was licking her lips. So that's what happened. So the gecko didn't try to bite her or anything. It was just, it was an just a, an accident. That's why I told you to hold on. Let me grab her. Okay. So, but I didn't see her. So, yeah. Right so once you get the gecko out, here she is. Okay. Hold Can she. I do that fluff ball thing? Okay. So you take the little fluff you take ball thing. The Q-tip. Yeah. And you just gently rub it. Clean the the stuff off of the legs. And it falls on the floor. Yep, that's it. Gently and then clean. And we just gotta brush it. Gently clean, clean it. it. And then here she comes. She's coming up again, right? Mm -hmm. She she's not trying to bite me. She wasn't trying to bite her. She's very nice. She just stuck her finger in her mouth because she was licking her wet lips. But. And she closed her mouth by accident. Yeah, right on her finger. But she didn't try to even try to bite down. See, there was no blood here. No nothing. There There's this one, like a little black spot, so I got it off. Yeah. So. And uh, I feel better now. Yeah, it's See, okay. so. So once you're done cleaning her. Bites some geckos bites, feel pinchy, and that you just got away for a minute. Relax your hand, and then it goes away. Thank you everybody for watching. Uh, and she do wrap. And CG reptiles, yes, that's perfect. All right, guys, over and out. Thank you so much for watching our video. Thank and you. Bye.